Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain different type of traverse techniques in collections. These are used to uh, navigate through the collection objects. I will take an example and I will explain these four type of um, techniques and also I will explain when to use which, uh, which technique. Let us go ahead and start our program. In order to explain this one, I am going to use the list implementation list equal to new array list and I am going to add few string objects to this that is value 1 like that I am going to add like three more uh, string object to the list okay so now total I have added four string objects three and four so once you prepare the list now you can select one of the technique to traverse through this list first one I am showing you is for each loop this was introduced in Java 1.5 so for you need to specify what is the type of the element you added to the list in this scenario I am added string object hence I am giving as a string and I am giving as a input then you put as a colon then you need to pass the collection object I am passing the list okay once you pass this sorry here in this scenario it is object sorry because in the case of uh, uh, collections everything it will treat it as a object but in the case of generics actually it will be treated as a uh, string so now I need to print this object so system dot out dot print ln and I am passing input because by default a string will have the two string so no need to convert when I run this program I will see the output as value 1, value 2, value 3 and value 4 so this is the first technique to traverse through the collection and second one is iterator 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 what you need to do is you need to once you prepare the list you need to create a iterator object and uh, for that iterator using the list list dot iterator once you got the iterator object you need to traverse through them using the while loop so iterator dot has next it will keep on checking if next element is there in the list or not if it uh, reaches the end it th the value become false now I am going to return next sorry iterator dot next okay now it is going to fetch the current element what at the position when I run this program I am going to write a system dot out dot iterator technique to differentiate uh, earlier one and this one I am giving this now when I run this program you will see this is for the for each loop output and iterator is also the same value 1 value 2 value 3 and value 4 so this is the one of the another technique to traverse through the list and one more uh, it is uh, one more uh, iterator it is going to provide is list iterator this is the another technique it is almost similar to the list implement uh, iterator but the difference I will explain in few minutes I am going to copy paste the same code here but instead of uh, iterator we will use the list iterator okay so iterator 
here also I need to have the method is list iterator and the remaining I need to give the different uh, variable name iterator1 and iterator1 I am using the same collection element actually so I am going to give system dot out dot printl as a list iterator technique now I run this program and you see the output as same as previous one so this is for the for each loop this is for the iterator and this is for the list iterator and we have one more technique but that is only used for the uh, vector concept so hence I am going to show you that technique vector vector implementation equal to new vector and then adding vector dot and vector 1 and like that I am going to add uh, three more uh, string object to this vector object 2 3 and 4 now you will see 2 3 and 4 vector you need to import from the class java.util this error will go now and now I need to iterate through this vector object in order to do the vector object we need to go to the enumeration you need to create an enumeration object enumeration equal to vector dot elements so this will return the enumeration so once you got the enumeration object you can iterate through the enumeration dot it has the method has more elements this is the method and uh, then you need to print enumeration dot next element now here I am giving the system dot out dot print ln as enumeration technique now I'll run this program run this program and see the output the first one is for for each loop this is for iterator and this is for list iterator and then enumeration okay so these are the four techniques uh, available in collections to traverse through the collection elements now let us understand when to use which collection which technique sorry which technique first thing is for each loop in your project requirement is to only navigate from the starting point to end then the best option is for each loop it is only forward you cannot do any manipulations once you uh, if you want to do some manipulation after list is uh, while traversing the list then it is not possible so this is only forward only once you start from the first element it will go up to that last element that is the thing in the case of iterator it will be going forward and also if you want to do some operation like iterator dot if you want to remove some object then at this point of time you can use this technique so in your project while iterating if you want to do some manipulation over the uh, elim uh, list then you can go ahead and use this technique and list iterator is advanced than iterator in the case of list iterator you will have an option to go forward backward at the same time if you want to remove you can do that means has previous is there next is there previous is there and previous index is there so this is the one of the advantage of using the list iterator so list iterator you can move forward at the same time backward and if you want to do some modification or adding the element it is possible so that is the uh, basic differences between these four tech uh, between the iterator and the list iterator and one more thing we have we have seen is enumeration so enumeration is basically working with the vector which is a uh, vector is a 
uh, synchronized in nature so only one thread at a time it can access so in a whenever you are working with the vector you use enumeration to traverse those elements hope uh, this concept is clear and uh, to add to this i am just uh, giving an example with the string object but same is applicable when you are working with the real time objects like uh, employee of uh, when you add the employee object the department or the bank object you can take any real time uh, one uh, create a one class and create an object using that class and add those classes to the list and then you can use the same techniques to uh, traverse through traverse through those lists hope thanks for watching have a nice day